Hello, welcome again to our weekly devotions. I'm Pastor David Schub at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend. Throughout the month of March, we've been looking at how each of the Gospels views the crucifixion. We've looked at all four Gospels, so now I just want to take a second to look at what Paul thinks about the crucifixion of Christ in his letters. And I want to read just a short piece of the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, the first couple verses. When I came to you, siblings, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Easter is one of the two most attended services in the church year, the other one being Christmas. And why not? Is it filled with joy and life and new beginnings, flowers, beauty, resurrection, all the things that lift us and bring us to a new place? And yet Paul says in an amazing way, it is Christ's crucifixion that is all I want to know. Is that crazy or what? That's certainly not the happy, joyous thing we do at Easter. Paul will go on to say that it's in the cross that God shows us God's very heart and mind. Yes, in the resurrection we see the power of God, but it's in the cross that we see how God will use the power of life and death. God will use it on behalf of us. Us imperfect, broken, selfish, sinful, dying people. God loves us with a love that will do anything to save us. In the cross, Paul says, we know this to be true. And that is the greatest power and comfort of all. In the cross, Jesus embraced the suffering of all the world in love. Jesus gave up all that was for the new possibility of future life for those he loved the most, you and I. And so the church is called to let go of all for the sake of that love. Paul in the book of Galatians makes an incredibly strong case for the truth that those who are freed by the cross of Christ are bound to nothing but the law of love. Not to the law of the land, not to the law of the church, not to the law of anything. We are bound alone to the love of Christ that was shown on the cross. We are set free as the papal of God from all things that would keep us from sharing the love of Christ in the world. We sacrifice all. We bear our cross for the sake of the cross of Jesus. Harry Emerson Fosdick tells a story from the violent history of the conflict between the Armenians and the Turks. Chris, Pastor Chris loves to tell this story. In the course of the Armenian, Armenian atrocities, a young woman and her brother were pursued down the street by a Turkish soldier. Cornered in an angle of the wall, The brother was slain before his sister's eyes. She dodged down an alley, leaped a wall, and escaped. Later, being a nurse, she was forced by the Turkish authorities to work in a military hospital, and into her ward was brought one day the same Turkish soldier who had killed her brother. He was ill. A slight inattention would ensure his death. The young woman, now safe in in America, confesses to be confessed to the bitter struggle that took place in her mind. The old Adam cried, vengeance! The new Christ cried, love. And equally to the man's good and to her own, the better side of her conquered, and she nursed him as carefully as any other patient to the ward. The recognition had been mutual, and one day, unable any longer to restrain his curiosity, the Turk asked his nurse why she had not let him die. And she replied, I am a follower of him who said, love your enemies and do them good. He was silent for a long time. At last he spoke. I never knew that there was such a religion. If that is your religion, tell me more about it, for I want it. We all long for such love in our life. And that's what we find in the cross, according to Paul. To live such love is not just to follow the command of Christ or even to help the world, though both are true as we live the love of Christ in the world. But it draws us ever closer to the one who has promised to love us until the end of the age and has sealed that promise with the cross. May we all strive to know nothing 
except Christ crucified. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for claiming us as your own in all our brokenness and glory. Help us trust that in the midst of our changing reality, that we can trust your love and move forward unafraid. Amen. Soon, many of you will be celebrating Easter. I hope that as Easter comes, with the power of the resurrection, you remember that power is always for you, for God loves us all. Have a good week.